Okay guys, hi, Kieran here. Thanks for checking out this video. Basically what I wanted to do today was just a quick video on how I upload my tracks to library sites like Pond5 um, and kind of the importance on, you know, your track descriptions and relevant tagging information just so, you know, your tracks can hopefully do as well as you want them to and, you know, pick up a few sales. So let's just dive right into it here. So um, I'm going to open up Pond5 um, just on the home screen. So this is what you'll be met with um, when you get into Pond5. Um, and what you're going to want to do is locate uh, your profile, which is in the top right hand corner. And you're going to go down through the options to uploads. And then from there, what you're going to do is upload a new track file. So just for reference, this is kind of the section where um, it shows you all your tracks. Um, and then you can go in um, and just do make any edits you need to adjust the tags, adjust the titles. Um, but for now, what we're going to do, as I said, is just upload a new file. Um, locate the directory of where it's saved. In my instance, it's just right on the desktop. Um, very lovely detailed name of new track, um, which we can change. Um, so what you're gonna see now is it's just gonna upload um, the track to Pond5 very, very quickly. Um, obviously this depends on the size of your track, but I think mine is about two minutes. Um, so it shouldn't be too long. So we're gonna get a little tick in a moment on the track um, and it's gonna let us know when it's ready. Um, come on pond five there we go perfect so now that that's done what we're going to do is just refresh the refresh the page um, and now it's going to be at the top of your page and it's going to say processing what that means is it just takes you know normally between it normally takes them about a minute to two minutes just to get the track um, registered on the site so then we can go in and make all the edits we want so i might just pause the video here um, and then when it comes back, then we can go through the editing section. Great. Okay, guys, we are back. So um, the track is uploaded to Pond5. So what we're going to want to do now is just to locate where it is. So you can normally see where it is by the track that needs this with highlight in blue, um, as opposed to all the others that say online. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is just we're going to jump into the track um, just in the edit window here. So this is now where you can kind of get into putting in all the relevant information you want regarding the tracks um, and putting in all the tagging. So we'll just start at the top here. This is kind of where it's going to um, play the track um, and it's going to have Pond5's watermark um, already on it. So that's all there. That's great. So then now you get into kind of the title. Um, so what I like to do, um, just because this can take not too long of a process, but it, you know, it does take a little bit of time getting everything right. So what I like to do is where I can have a template ready um, for this type of track. Um, so I've got one here um, and this type of track is kind of a commercial kind of pop um, ambient sort of track. So I, you know, I have a template for that. So what I'm just going to do first off is just copy the title um, that I've got ready made for it. Um, titles are very interesting um, when you're doing this type of work because a lot of the time people who are browsing these websites, um, you know, they, they might not have a lot of time and they want something to jump out of them. So the best way to kind of do that is essentially you need to explain in the title of your track what it is they're going to be listening to. So already, you know, the title needs to stand out to whoever is, you know, browsing through your catalogue. And if it's got a few words in there, which is exactly what they're looking for, they're going to give it a listen. So it just increases your chances. So. <clears throat> For example, I've got the name of the track and then I've said cinematic ambient track with soft piano, ambient guitar melodies, percussion and vocals. So I'm giving it its name, you know, so and then I'm kind of going through the instrumentation there very, very briefly. The next section is the description part. Um, I've also got my template ready for this. So just to copy this over. Um, there you go. So. Again, the description is just as important. You really kind of need to outline, you know, for, for the client or for whoever is, you know, looking through this, um, you know, what your track is, um, what kind of mood it is, what kind of genre, um, all the kind of relevant information that might make someone think, yeah, this, this, you know, this track could be good for my video. Um, so I've just got, you know, ambient, bright and uplifting track. And then again, going into kind of the instrumentation with a soft piano and pad, electronic drums, ambient guitars and vocals. Um, then I've also got a kind of, it's, it's got, I found it's always quite good to have a little 
um, lying underneath it, which is, which in my case is, you know, this track has an uplifting and inspiring mood. And, you know, I always like to put in that it would be a great fit for, you know, what I think it would fit with. So for this instance, I've got kind of corporate videos, um, TV and advertisement, um, cause I just feel like this track probably wouldn't work with a film, um, just because of the instrumentation. Um, I mean, it could, you know, you know, who, who's to say it won't. So that's kind of good sort of starting point for just the title and description. So we're just going to go through date created. Um, you can kind of set these if you want. I, to be honest, I really don't, um, I don't think it matters that much, but that just might be me. Um, but for argument's sake, let's, um, let's just do this. So let's say I made it a couple of days ago. Um, put it there. Location and city, as I said, you know, this stuff isn't kind of relevant. There's no asterisks um, with it, so, you know, you don't need to fill it in. Um, this section here is seamless looping. You know, if your track is loopable, um, select yes. In my case, it, I don't think it is. Um, does this clip contain lyrics or human voice? My track does have voice on it, but it's it's sample instruments um, by output and, and stuff like that. So it's probably not. Um, it's not the human voice or lyrics. So what's the tempo of the track? It's quite a medium kind of track. And then this is where you kind of get into um, the stuff you need to put in. It's got the asterisks in it. So composer is obviously myself. Publisher, you know, it doesn't need that. Um, I am registered to PRS, but you don't need to put that information in if you don't need to. Um, this is a non-exclusive, you know, kind of library site. So it's a one-off fee. Um, yeah, so it might not be as relevant as you need to be. Then you can set the price. Um, there's an option there which says let pawn five set my price. I normally like to put them in at $30, um, which is just the website is set to dollars. So it's, it's, I think it's around 26, 27 pound, um, maybe a little less actually, but yeah, I like to put in $30. So the next section is keywords. Um, and this is the kind of, this is the important part. Um, the keywords are essentially how video makers, clients um, kind of go through this, uh, this library service and find tracks based on keywords, you know, such as you can see here, it's got a big selection of kind of target words for people to, to browse through just to make finding tracks easier. Um, it ranges from anything, you know, from you know, angry to calm, joyful, um, mechanical. Um, but kind of going back to, you know, these, these templates I have, as I said, for this type of track, I will always have a template of a few keywords that I know I'm going to use, um, which are just there. So you can just copy and paste them into there and it turns them into the tags. Um, but then, you know, what I'll kind of do is, although I'll have the, having a template is great. Sometimes you need to add some more stuff, um, just to suit your track. Um, so, I mean, I can add stuff like that. I think that would work quite nicely. It's quite melancholic, melancholic, I suppose. Um, it is quite lively. It's motivational. I, I think I have motivational in there. Yeah. Um, so you just want to make sure as well, you're not duplicating, um, the tagging you've got, you've only got up to 50 words. Um, I'm only taking up 23 here. Um, but yeah, you can just kind of go, um, go to town really on, you know, what you think. Um, will really work with the video um, on the section next to it. You've kind of got the instrumentation, which you can tag. Um, I think I've already got all the stuff in there from the template. Um, that's one thing that doesn't really change with the template. You know, if I'm, if I know it's going to be a certain type of track, I'll often put in um, what instrumentation is going to be. And then you've got era, um, you know, what type of, what type of, um, time does your music reflect? Um, but I, I mostly just leave that blank to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's kind of it. Um, in order of getting in all the information, it, it doesn't take that much time, um, but it is very important to get all the information right, you know, especially if you, you know, if you want your track to do well um, and you want people to be able to find it as easy as possible. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do then, you can, there's this option where you can add to collections, you can create kind of like playlists on your Pond5 account. Um, and then you can just go ahead and select uh, and it'll just go straight to whichever kind of collection you create. Um, but other than that, that is, that is pretty much the entire process. So what you're going to need to go from there is just to save and submit for review. What's this here? Maximum should be 80. Ah, so I think, ah, there we go. The title is too long.
and we are off. Excellent. So what are you going to see now? If you just look through, you can see that the track will say pending review. So there we go, guys. That's kind of just my process um, of uploading tracks to Pond5. As I said, it can definitely expedite the process if you have a template um, that you know kind of fits with the genre of track you're uploading. Um, but don't be afraid to kind of edit it after that, which is, you know, as I've just done. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks very much for kind of watching the video. And hopefully this has helped anyone who is getting into production music and looking into, you know, license their music to Pond5 and upload their tracks. Thanks very much.